Lauren and Leila, have you heard the rumors? Not There's rumors. a lot of rumors. Which one are we talking about? There's, there's gonna be a new high pass in Ireland. Do you camera, what's going on? Oh, we're gonna do a little power cleanup thing for 10 minutes. Cause like, look at that. And who did that? I wasn't even here yesterday and I have to clean up their mess. We're all partially responsible. Me? We're all partially responsible, which means nobody's fully responsible. No, 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 hold on. We're doing this together. We clean together. I don't give a fuck who made the mess. Clean the mess. Loud noises. It's just like my TikTok that I did. I think guys are always very good at just like fitting stuff into things that can't be fit. Oh, that's what she said, eh? God, it's very weird morning. All right, that's good, that's good. All right, that was a quick pair of clean, and we'll have a morning meeting now. So I'm gonna do, I only made this up this morning, but uh, just to incentivize at the, on, we'll do it Saturday, because uh, I'm only announcing this today. But whoever's the top scorer for this week, in terms of amount of posts, they're gonna get a prize. What that prize is, I don't know, I'm gonna make, make that up and find it out. That's and also, I'm gonna give a prize for the person who makes, now this is a bit of a weird one. It's gonna be like the best piece of content, which I would deem as, the most amount of views, it's, it's sort of individualized. So a piece of content that gets like a lot of views and likes based on your following and also is like cool and creative. Now I know that's very subjective, but me and Jake are just gonna judge that and that person will also get a prize. And then this is a slightly separate thing, but I guess I was having conversations with Jake yesterday and this is just not about today or this week. It's just about your guy's life in general. I think it'd be cool even for a couple of minutes to just go around the room and say, like what outside of this house and outside of this period of time here, like what are your broader goals? And I guess I want to start the conversation around, Lauren has said before she wants to be like a presenter. Obviously that's like a longer term goal than in the house. Like where do you want to go later in life do you think? And let's start talking about, we'll do the day to day obviously, but how can we facilitate you guys to like grow into that career that you want to have. So Dara, what, what's your longer term? You don't have to have a master plan, but what would be a longer term plan for you, do you think? For me? Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose in the future, I want to turn a current company into a full-on production company. And in five years time, I want to have like, say X amount of employees, stuff like that, have like an actual production house. I mean, I want to really grow on YouTube. I want to hit a million and then on. Keep going from there. And what would you like, Andrew? I'll reap the benefits for him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably uh, just kind of expand, grow. Uh, expand my uh, photography and potential on the video side as well. And then just kind of business. Kind of just uh, keep up the, the loss side and just use that as a backing for all the kind of future business. Um, I think for the moment, like, I just really want to grow my YouTube because I actually really, really like making YouTube videos and I like editing them as well. So I really like doing that and I want to get a bit bigger on that and I think probably long term I just again just want to grow but I want to like make connections with like as like as you said like I should have like texted Lil Hoodie when he followed me the first time I because like I have a lot of people say that follow me in the UK and I'd love to live in London one day so I need to like make connections with them so I have a services business right now which is uh, video so like I provide a video service. So like I'm no different to a plumber or like a, an electrician. It's sort of like someone has a problem and then I make that video for them. There's sort of a cap to how much money you can make in the Irish market mm -hmm. because of how much the budgets are. And also there's like different tiers of videos you can do. So I would deal like, people would hire me because they go, okay, Tom is good. He's not as expensive as like an ad agency. And we don't need something, we need something that's nice, but we don't need something that's crazy. So they might have like a grand, two, three grand for a video. Then there's another area where you go to ad agencies, which is like places like BBDO, where Coke go, we have a hundred grand for a campaign, and then they subcontract everything down. So they'll say, we want a hundred grand campaign for Christmas, we're going to put X amount into video. Then the ad agency subcontracts the video and takes their cut. So if they put 20 grand into video, they might give 10 grand to freelancers. 
So that would be that is more money, but they're generally way worse with payments. So they would pay 60, and, and Dara would know all about this, they'd pay like 60 to 90 days after receipt of invoice. Whereas because I deal with like business owners, they're more sound or if I was stuck and I was like, I need the money now, they'd give it to me. Or generally I work on a 50% upfront payment method. So my cash flow is always there. So anyway, there's the cap as to the amount of money I could make here. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Either you employ more people and get bigger. So I become head of sales and I get more business in and I have people to do the editing and the videoing because obviously there's only so much time I could spend video and editing or I go, I'll just move to another market. But I don't see myself as a video person. I would prefer to just have that in the background to make a bit of money and then try a product business next, which would be like a fucking energy drink or like not my name attached to it necessarily, but just like any e-commerce brand you could think of, like a fucking watch, a drink, uh, a course, like anything. So that's the next business I'd like to try. I think product businesses are interesting because they have more scale to them. So you could sell, as an example, as an energy drink, you can sell that anywhere across the world. I can't sell a physical video anywhere but Ireland because I'm in Ireland. So uh, product businesses have more scale, but they're not as good as software businesses because product businesses require you to put a lot of money into stock. So if I was getting cans, I might have to put 20 grand into cans and I need to try and sell them all. And if they don't sell, I'm in a deficit. Whereas when you build a proprietary piece of software, you can sell it anywhere across the world at no additional cost once you've made the software. So for every can that I'd sell, I still have to spend like a euro to make the can. Whereas if I've spent 20 grand on a software that works, every time I sell a copy of it, just like Microsoft sells Excel or whatever, there's no additional cost. It's just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Software though is more difficult because it's so like hard to make a good piece of software. It's very easy for a big company who has way more money, like Apple, who have like 100 billion in cash to go, we could just make that ourselves because we have way more people. So although software businesses are better, they're way more viciously competitive. Mm -hmm. And the good side of a services business like mine is like, when people find a guy that they like, they never leave him, really. Because they're like, why would I be arsed moving somewhere else? Unless you fuck up. Uh, yeah. Unless I fuck up, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why like customer service and everything is very good. It's very important, sorry, and being punctual. And that's one of the reasons why we try and be punctual at the meetings. It's because Obviously, it's sort of run top down for me and Jake in terms of how we want to run the house, is how we'd want to run our own businesses. It is about being punctual, it's about being professional, it's about like producing good work, if that makes sense. So, um, so I'd see it as a services business, a product, see how the product goes on. Maybe software is too hard for me to do, I don't know. Like, maybe you need to be a super genius to do that, but um, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a services business my entire life. Nia, yeah, have you heard the rumors? Rumors? Really? The rumors, yeah. Of what? Of another house starting. Oh, I did. You think they're actually going to do it? I think that's the real question. Uh, no, I don't think they have the funds to do it, is that? No. Who do you think they try and get into the house? Because they have, if you go onto their TikToks, they have some of the creators yes, I've too. Yes, see, I've seen some of them, some of them I'm even friends with. Um, they probably will have them, but they won't have me. Lauren and Leila, have you heard the rumors? There's a lot of rumors. Which one are we talking about? There's, there's going to be a new high pass in Ireland. Have you heard of that? No? Jim Plus Coffee, like, or... Have you heard of them, like, saying they're going to start one? No. No? What would you think? Do you think they're actually going to start it, or is it just hype? I think it's hype. Great opinions by Lauren. Leila, what do you think? Is it real, or is it not real? It's kind of weird. Because, like, what are you going to do? Knows. Sell your clothes in the house? Like... Yeah. I think they'd probably just put up the money, and then have the creators in the house, and then all the creators wear the clothes. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> that was the girls. Yeah, so addressing the rumors is that Gym Plus Coffee, which is a well-known e-commerce brand here in Ireland, have been putting up on their TikTok that they're, they're basically hinting at they're going to start their own Irish hype house. I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're just doing it in a nice way just to get a bit of hype and to sort of hop on the back of the go house. They're sort of putting up influencers that they've worked with before and saying, do you want to fulfill our dreams? Because I guess that's sort of been the narrative of this house is that brands who get involved in this house or just the house in general is trying to fulfill the dreams of Irish creators. I think that's a very authentic 
message because me and Jake and other people are putting a lot of money into actually making those dreams a reality. We're paying for the people behind the camera, we're paying for the house, we're paying for the food, we're paying for everything. Just putting up a TikTok saying that you're going to fulfill the dreams of Irish creators and you're gonna make a hype house means nothing until there is another house made, until more creators are put into it. There's obviously a lot of logistical things that people behind the camera wouldn't necessarily know about, such as what talent pool are they gonna pick from? We've picked the creme de la creme here in Ireland. There's not many more to pick from. Otherwise, if you got a bunch of people who have no following or people really don't know at all, it would look very bad. Uh, I think it's just someone trying to be clever on the Jim Plus Coffee social media page. I think it is pretty clever. It's getting me to talk about it. It's getting a few other people to talk about it. But do I think it's actually gonna happen? No, I don't. <laughs>